Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, I have been able to get my hands on Ren Sport, the closed beta, and um, yeah, it's sort of just running through certain things in the game, seeing what the game feels like at its very early stages. And um, I have to say, man, it's, it's, it's decent, man. It definitely has got a place in the market and I can see this game being a success in the same way that Project Cars was able to um, carve out a way into the market. Now, obviously, it's very, very early stages, so we, we're not getting the complete game yet. So I don't want to judge too much, but I'm going to judge whereabouts I see the game and, and the direction the game's heading and um, the good, the bad so far from what I've taken from it. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys do enjoy the video, man. I, I know this is one that a few people will be interested in, man. But anyway, let's get stuck into the video. So, first of all, before we even get to the actual gameplay, um, the one thing I did notice off the rip was that you literally have to keybind everything. It's pretty much very similar to um, a set of Corsa. You have to keybind literally everything. I'm not sure if there's going to be like presets brought into the game once the game's actually out, but probably would be a good idea if you have presets for each wheel. Um, at the moment, literally, when I say everything, I mean everything needs to keep needs to be key binded. Even your your start button when you're on the track, um, your go back button in the menus, or up, down, left, right, D-pad buttons, everything needs to be key binded. So, you know, that is one of the things that maybe um, could, in, in in the foreseeable future, be sort of done automatically because it's 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 a lot to have to remember to keybind every single thing um, in, in terms of just moving around the menus or when you're actually on the track, if you just want to look back in your car or you just want to press the start button to pause the game or whatever, um, everything needs to be keybinded. But once you get over all that stuff and you've you know finally keybinded your, um, your keys, go into the force feedback. Now, force feedback for me, was pretty strong so i actually put my my force feedback strength down i actually like quite a light wheel so um for me personally you know having ultra heavy wheels not not for me but i can tell you bro <laughs> there is some force feedback in this game there is some force feedback what i noticed as well especially while driving is when you're actually on the track and um you hit the brakes because at first i didn't I didn't turn my force feedback down, so when you hit the brakes, the wheel does stiffen up a little bit. Kind of gives you that sort of realism where you can't really turn the wheel left and right too much while being on the brake pedal. So um, that was pretty good. I, I like that feeling. I like that sensation. Um, so far, the best way for me to describe the game, it's like if Project Cars and Race Room had a baby. It's sort of in that sort of niche, and that's why I feel like there's definitely a market for this game because to me, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of sort of front end grip, but also the rear does go light. And at the moment, I would say that's probably where the, the weakest part of the force feedback. It's kind of hard to judge on the rear whereabouts your car is, um, especially for me so far, what I've seen, I feel like running lower TC settings is actually faster. So you can't feel the rear end with the low TC settings, it makes it pretty easy to lose it. And that's why when you actually watch some of the, um, the ESO Live, uh, the eSports e Live races on Rensport, when they got to the hairpin at Hockenheim, sometimes you'd see someone just spin it out of nowhere. And that's because I can see why that would happen with not as much force, feedback, force feedback, feeling like it's coming from the rear of the car, giving you that sort of, you know, um, giving you that immersion that you actually feel what the back end of the car is doing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get stuck into the meat and bones of it. I know you guys just want to see the gameplay, so we're going to get stuck into the gameplay. So we're in the Porsche at Spa, and um, first thing first, as you guys know me, you know, you know I like a certain type of field of view settings when I'm in a car, and you can actually change that on this game. So um, I'm going to come over to the options, go down into gameplay, and we're going to start messing with our FOV settings because... This is the camera I like, but the view is a little off for me at the moment. So the main thing I'm going to focus on is still being able to see my gears. So if I put the distance 
back a little and I can move the FOV forward around about 70 I think and then maybe just inch the height up a little that should be good for me I think um but depending on whatever camera you guys like there's different cameras you guys can use or stuff like that so um you can sort of edit the game how you want and one thing I do like about this game it seems as if everything is is editable you can you can really like change things exactly how you want them and um that's something I do like a lot so let's back out of that menu and see what our FOV looks like now and it's pretty good pretty good it pretty much looks as if exactly how I would have it on ACC pretty much so um I'm chuffed with that and let's leave the pit lane I haven't actually mapped my um, pit limiter at the moment so we're able to floor it in the pit lane but I, what I will say is I think this is the most accurate version of Spa so far much tighter than it is on any other game going through our rouge over radion i think the porsche actually sounds pretty decent So far of all the cars I've tried, I think the Porsche probably sounds the best. Oops. Run completely wide. But you can see the profile of that corner is completely different to on other games because obviously in the real world it has changed. So I think, I want to say it's laser scanned. If not, it's at least the closest that I've seen to real life spa at the moment. This game does have a lot of front end grip. I'm gonna put the TC down in this car, I think. And we can go a bit more rear with on brake bias as well. Not as easy to go flat through there as it is on ACC. Oh, we've overshot, we've overshot. Definitely pretty nice on the throttle with the Porsche. Oh, bro, oh, they, they, I don't know how they're going through that corner so quickly um, in the esports competition because the back end does actually step out through there quite a lot. It's very easy to overheat your tyres as well. And you can you can you can feel it when them tires are starting to go because you just start sliding. Oops. Oh god. I think we must have touched the um the grass on the outside, but Ah, it's really hot at the moment.
Maybe a little too rare with on the break bias, I think. Uh, it's pretty easy to slide the car and, and hold it, to be honest. Let's go back up on the brake bias. Wow, a lot of understeer through there. That was terrible. I'm not sure whether the first gear is even worth using in the Porsche. I don't think so. I think the first gear is way too short. Maybe you have to have a small lift through El Rouge over Radion. Definitely the front end is very grippy though. Yeah, I definitely think we had our brake bias too far to the rear. Obviously at the moment there's not as much detail in the game as on ACC. Um, I wouldn't say like in terms of driving, I don't think it's as difficult. Um, but we don't have setups and stuff yet. I think once we have setups in the game, I feel like it will definitely improve how much you can push. There are few areas where it's a bit um a bit understeery oh back end steps out and that's what i was talking about quite similar in that regard to race room where when the back end steps out you kind of very very hard to catch once the back end starts going you know um and uh yeah that that for me at the moment is probably the weakest point but other than that you know it's it's pretty cool it's pretty cool so um i'm gonna do maybe a, a a couple of laps in the audi around hockenheim just with no talking just just doing some laps and um tell me what you guys think in the comment section below man because i feel like with acc i racing there, 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 there is a need for a game like this you know what what project cars used to be i know a lot of people slag project cars off afterwards but at, at a time everyone was literally on p cars man so uh let's see let's see man let's see anyway um i'm gonna get to the laps ahead in the audi around hockenheim and tell me what you guys think in the comment section below all right peace